Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. In this session, we are going to solve a problem about thermal stress. The question is, a steel bar shun is constrained to just fit between two fixed supports when T1 equals to 30 degrees C. If temperature is raised to T2 equals to 60 degree C. Determine the average normal thermal stress developed in the bar where the value of E equals to 200 gigapascal and alpha equals to 12 times 10 to the power of negative 6 per degree C. Here we have length of the bar is 1 meter so L equal to 1 meter and then we have square cross-sectional area 10 millimeters times 10 millimeters so the area is uh, 10 times 10 to the power of negative 3 square so the cross-sectional area is 1 times 10 to the power of negative 4 meter square then we illustrate the thermal stress in a figure this bar is supported at both ends so after we apply the temperature changes we will have the expansion due to temperature changes delta t and then we have axial load to resist the expansion p and we have delta p which is to resist the expansion of the delta t so from here if we want to find the internal force occur in the bar we cut the bar into section for example so here we have uh, axial load p and then we assume the internal force occur outward of the bar so we noted as p s for steel so ps will be negative p for the structure fixed at both ends the total expansion of the bar plus the total contraction of delta p equals to zero next we calculate the delta t first so delta t equals to alpha delta t l equals to 12 times 10 to the power of negative 6 times 60 minus 30 and then times L 1 meter so delta T equals to 3.6 times 10 to the power of negative 4 meter next we calculate the delta P so delta P equals to PL over AE we use the deformation equation PL over AE because delta P come from the axial load so delta P equals to the internal force PS equals to negative P times length of the bar is 1 meter divided by cross-sectional area just now 1 times 10 to the power of negative 4 and then we have E equals to 200 giga. So we get the delta P equals to negative 5 times 10 to the power of negative 8 times P meter. Next, we substitute the values of delta T and delta P into equation delta t plus delta p equals to zero 
So delta t equals to 3.6 times 10 to the power of negative 4 plus delta p is negative 5 times 10 to the power of negative 8 times p equals to 0. So p will be 7.2 kilonewtons. Next, to find the value of normal thermal stress, sigma steel equals to P steel over A steel. So P steel equals to negative P, negative 7.2 kilonewtons divided by 1 times 10 to the power of negative 4. Then the value of normal thermal stress is negative 72 megapascal. The negative value of the sigma represent that sigma s is in compression. That's all. Thank you.